Let's move on and talk about uh, Premier Explosives and TV Chaudhary, the management uh, of uh, managing director of uh, Premier Explosives, is joining us now. And uh, we understand, uh, Mr. Chaudhary, that you are looking at raising 400 crore worth of funds uh, to fund your. Is it explosive growth which you see and which you are looking forward to, you know, capture via this fundraise? Talk to us about the utilization. Yeah, with the changing world scenario and then geopolitics, the requirements of uh, war missionary and then war has changed, <clears throat> which has given an opportunity for a big growth in addition to what we are already planning and we planned. So as part of that plan, we are expanding in our present Katipalli unit. Uh, and also we have big plans to expand at uh, Odisha, where the Odisha government has given their consent and approval for land. So we are trying to enter into backward integration that is mostly the explosive raw materials which are going to be used by us for producing the products which are already introduced in our product range. So with this introduction of more and more products and then backward integration, I think the, we are expecting a big growth in the coming uh, 10 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, you talked about big growth and I remember the last time we spoke, you did talk about some 300 crore run rate in FY24 and 500 crore in FY25. Does that get accelerated now given the prospects you're talking about and the geopolitical issues? Yeah, this is, no, this we talked about the coming two years. I'm talking about the 10 years plan in multi-phase growth. You think can be so, ten year, uh, you know, ten year out company's profile, sir. Ten years out, what could be the revenue size and potential of the company? We are, in 10 years' time, we are targeting a revenue of uh, some, somewhere around 4,000 crores. That is all operations included, including the new operations which are going to be added. And space is another area which is growing in four or five years' time that will mature further through my private industry. That's another area we are looking for, which is not included in this 4,000 crores growth. Mr. Chaudhary, uh, you know, I was just reading that even for the financial year gone by, India was among the top four defense purchasers globally. And uh, the, the, the interesting part is that even now, bulk of our purchases are actually in the form of imports, which is now the government's ambition to reverse it and make it at nirbhar And that's what you're also perhaps hinting at, that defense requirement appear to be increasing. When, which financial year will this 400 crore capex will get captured in? And what are the, exactly the benefits? Because you are, you know, expanding ground up, right? New land, new uh, backward integration into new materials, etc. Are we talking about 26, 25, 26 or 27? When will that big bump up? Because your business is lumpy, right? So it will get captured in, you know, in a kind of a lumpy ma manner. This year itself, the current financial year, that is 24, 25 itself, we are expecting a big jump. Uh, we are we are planning to reach 500 crores or exceed 500 crores slightly. That is the current year's plan itself. And the next year onwards, there will be an addition of the new facilities and which will contribute. This is a 10 years program what I have talked about, the 4,000 crores in 10 years in multiple phases, what we are adding. It's not only the growth of the present uh, products, but we are adding multiple products which are going to bring the revenue. These products are being added at our present Katepalli facility and also the plans for growing in Odisha. Sure, point taken. So uh, this expansion or the multi-pronged expansion that you're planning for 10 years is something that will bear fruit. But I also wanted to understand what role will export actually play in this because right now export is still just around 12-15% of your revenue. Going forward, four yes. to five years out, how could it scale up? Because clearly, as you talked about, the geopolitical issues are, uh, you know, resulting in a surge in these demands and deficiencies in parts of the world. See, we already started exporting, like I shared earlier. The exports have already started. The products, that is, rocket motors and uh, warheads, the export has started. Now, by adding the going to backward integration, we we are going to add uh, raw materials, that is RDX, HMX, TNT. These are the items which are going to be uh, added and then these will bring in the export uh, revenue. This we are expecting there will be at least some 25-30% will come from our exports. Mr. Shadhar, you said there will be a big jump this year, which means 25. I was just looking at the data point. 
you ended 23 and 200 crore odd. You've already done 240 close to in first nine months. So, are you saying that uh, if, I may, if I may assume that from 250 to 70 run rate will go to 500 upwards in 25, how much will the delta be in 25, 26 from 500 to what? Another 150 crores is what planned for 25, 26. 650 crore is the top line we can estimate yes. in 26. Yes. Okay, yes. and because of this backward integration, will your margins also improve upwards 22 percent or uh, what you've done on a trailing? Uh, will, is that heading towards 25 or higher because of backward integration? See, the margins, mostly the defense products margins are in the range of 20, 25 percent. So, by, by, if you go by the percentage of the turnover, it will remain in, in the same range. We are also going to increase our presence in industrial explosives, where the margins are lower. So, the average margins, I think, will be in the range of 20 percent, 18 to 20 percent, 21. That is the range. 21% margin. Thanks so much, Mr. Chaudhary, for making time and speaking with us. Good speaking with you. If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to ET Now.